What's going on, everyone? So, in the recent From trailer, you see this old man uh, that appears to be helping Tabitha. And maybe a key to unlocking and helping the people in Far Away uh, potentially get out as Tabitha did, uh, assuming Tabitha is actually out, right? It is so far led you to believe that that's the case, right? You see at the end of Season 2, uh, she opens the window and appears to be back in the real world. And even through the trailer, kind of seems like she's on this mission to try to reach out or potentially return to far away so she can explain to people how to get out because uh, it appears that she has escaped. Again, if you've seen the show from, you know not everything meets the eye, right? Transformers, right? <laughs> but in all seriousness, right? Like it, it, it wouldn't shock me if she really isn't out and this is another sort of layer to this far away or it's kind of a version in her mind maybe even um you know they've, they've made a real emphasis on dreams and you know uh visions and stuff maybe that's what this is her experience is this dream or dream uh area also you've seen like with boyd you know, where he entered this dungeon space and even got this, uh, you know, got the torch and was able to return to that dungeon area to stop the music box and stuff, right? So they've really made that a point. And clearly this old man is going to have some ties. Now, I did a previous video uh, diving into the theory and idea that he's Victor's father. Um, I think that would make a ton of sense. You can see in the pictures there, it, that center picture looks like Victor's sister. And then even towards the bottom, you could even make an argument that that's Victor when he was a kid. Um, so that could be a potential tie-in. But in this video, I want to talk about and touch on um, the potential of this old man potentially being somebody that escaped prior, right? So a key kind of point is the mother. And I really do want to dive into a couple theories about the mother, you know, Victor's mother, uh, and from, because she had a lot of knowledge and had this concept of how to get out, right? And what she needed to do in order to get out and which Tabitha ends up following that path and ultimately, um, ends up appearing to get out herself, Right. Who's to say that no one has ever gotten out of the, the far away place, right? Maybe it is possible to actually get out or, you know, maybe only one at a time or something like that, right? There are so many mysteries and that's one of the things that is so great about this show. So many mysteries that are unlocked and why this is so fun to just dive into different theories and ideas and just have some fun with it because there's just so many directions in which this could go but the idea of him potentially being someone that had escaped I do think makes a lot of sense and you kind of look at the clues throughout the trailer obviously it's a trailer we only have so much to go off of we only have so many details but clearly he's at his home and he has the bottle tree which is a big point in season two and you know, Boyd stumbles across the bottle tree, and then also that's where um, Victor leads Tabitha in order for Tabitha to get out. You know, so clearly the bottle tree is this is this point of escape or beginning path, kind of marker of escape, and all of the bottles have these sort of stories from people what if those stories are from people that have escaped right what if this bottle tree in the real world is connected to the bottle tree in far away and how have they you know how did all of those bottles get there right all these people just continuously go there and just what happened to take a bottle like, it would make sense if you know you kind of have in the real world this home base for people that are looking for answers that have gotten out, that can leave a bottle, maybe that's even a way that Tabitha communicates uh, to the real world, right? Again, there's a lot of theory. Stay tuned, because I have a lot of different just ideas and thoughts to, to dive into and explore. Um, so I hope you're, you're along for the ride. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, all that stuff. But, you know, it would make sense that if this gentleman was able to escape and get out at some point, 
that he would have some type of knowledge. He would have some type of information. He would kind of lay, you know, kind of breadcrumbs for people that have gotten out that are seeking answers, right? Because you got to imagine if he got out, there were answers and questions that he probably had. I mean, anybody, right? If you were in this place and you ended up getting out, you would have answers and, you know, be seeking answers and have a million questions and just kind of want to know, like, hey, what is going on? Right? How did I get here? How did this happen? How does this evolve? Right? Like, so it would make sense that there would be kind of like, a, you know, almost like an oracle type thing where, you know, he doesn't have all the answers. He doesn't know everything. He doesn't know all the ins and outs, but he, he knows kind of a way to kind of point you in a direction or kind of has some insight into, you know, the far away place that maybe somebody else didn't. Because again, it, they have established that that far away has been there for a very long, long time. I mean, who knows? I mean, it could have been there from the beginning of time, right? Victor's been there since he was a little kid, right? So, I mean, you know, he's been there 30, 40 years, right? Like, he's been there a very long time. And he's even said, you know, all these things were here before me. And there's all these, like, signs and clues of, like, you know, this place was has been around for a very, very long time. So just through, you know, statistical probability, people have probably gotten out. Right? If you've had millions of people throughout the course of history enter that the, the faraway place, got to imagine at least somebody at some point or maybe several people at some point have been able to get out, have been able to kind of find their purpose there as Tabitha did and was able to escape. Again, going under the assumption that she actually escaped. And I just, I really like the idea of, you know, this guy, I, I, if I'm being honest, I like the Victor's father idea better, especially because of like the paintings appear to be Victor's sister, uh, work of art, right? If you look at some of the, the images and drawings that we've seen, um, from Victor's sister are, are very close to what we see in this, um, you know, or maybe it's the mother, I think that's a possibility. It could be Victor's mom, um, you know, had some information. And also, even if you could technically have both, right? So Victor's mother didn't make it. She she ended up dying, right? Well, maybe the dad was able to get out. What if it still is Victor's father and he ends up getting out and escaping and thus now can relay the information and you know he's been trying to find a way to reach victor and get a hold of victor maybe he's even found a way to communicate and that's how tabitha is able to reach out you know i another sort of theory that i dove into is we see jim answer the phone get on the phone call and a lot of people think that that's um jim talking to a uh that that voice that we heard on the cb radio in in uh, season one what if it's tabitha right like that was my old thing like what if it was tabitha and this old guy is able to kind of guide her and help her reach out and communicate into the the far away right and now tabitha is able to reach out and communicate you could still have that be victor's father you could still have it all kind of tie in and make sense. And it would make sense that Victor's father might have been able to get out. But you might be asking, well, wait, how, you know, if he could communicate, why wouldn't he communicate with Victor? Well, one, Victor was a kid that was scared and just wanted to forget, right? He basically blocked out all memories, all everything. Maybe the father did for years try to communicate and, and try to get in touch with Victor to explain to Victor how to get out of there. And Victor just ignored it or just, you know, didn't listen. Also, not just that, but, you know, one of, the, one of the points that I made in that video, which, again, go check out those videos after this one if you enjoy this one. Um, one of the other points that I made was that even if Tabitha could communicate, right, and she could reach out, who would necessarily believe that it's her, right? I mean, the whole far away, like, its entire purpose is to just play and manipulate your mind and stuff. Now, Jim, I do believe, will believe it, right? I do believe that Jim, you know, he, I would imagine is going to ask a question or something that kind of, oh, it really is her, right? And, 
maybe that becomes his new obsession. And he believes, but everyone thinks that he's just, I mean, we already saw Jim twice now believe something that turned out not to be true, you know, from the CB radio to, you know, him believing that maybe this is all just a government experiment and all that, right? Like, so if he came with this, like Tabitha, I talked to Tabitha and she told me this, like, you know, you got to imagine that people would think like, all right, buddy, like Jim, we already went down this road a couple times. We already know how this turns out, right? It's the place just messing with you, you know, and you got to imagine there's going to be part of the story where Jim is probably impacted and affected by Tabitha not being there, right? And maybe he does kind of start losing his mind a little bit and start losing his way a little bit, right? Because he doesn't have his wife in there with him, who is that, you know, kind of one, you know, support system, right? They, they, they really only have each other. I mean, obviously they have the children, but the children are children, you know? Like, it's one thing to have your children, but you're supposed to be the rock. You're supposed to be the stability. You're supposed to be the one that your children lean on, not the other way around. Where you have your wife, like, that's your partner. That's somebody that you can you know, you can confide in. You, you can't really go and, and cry and, you know, express your fears and concerns to your children, but you can to your wife, you know? So, I don't know. I just think it's an interesting point. I think it's an interesting way to kind of approach this, that what if he's somebody that got out? Either just, you know, a random person that got out, or again, I like the idea of Victor's father. But, as always, this is a discussion, and I pass a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? What are your thoughts? Uh, do you like the idea? Do you think, like, yeah, like, sounds like a great idea to me? Um, nope. Victor's father, not Victor's father. Um, again, however you feel, whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me a lot. So we enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.